back season two of Oshinoko and goddamn, we've been waiting a long time for this. Are we going to solve the murder mystery of who is our dad? Probably not. We're going to just do a little bit of teasing while, you know, focus on the play between Akane and Lolly Senpai to see who is going to win, you know, Aqua's affection. But if you've seen some of the tweets being made about the Oshinoko manga, I think that this is a battle between losers. Let's begin today's reaction. Quiet down, guys. Episode 2 to start with the start. Jump scare incoming. Okay, theater play. Once a great one. Twenty-one swords. The great shattering. Is it Aqua? Oh shit! <laughs> this is getting high. Feels like a fucking rave, like a concert, man. Blade! Lolly Senpai! I think? Tsurugi. That ain't Akane. Aqua! Is this Aqua? I don't know, when I look at that face, it's Aqua, right? Monme. I no spoilers, no spoilers, no spoilers. But even if it's Aqua or not, I find it interesting how like every time like Aqua's in a role, why is he playing the stalker role? Right? I was like, this all shit happened because the stalker just killed I. And Aqua like Every time he's just like a stalker weird dude, you know, with the knife, like, it's like he became the fucking, you know, the guy that he's trying to pursue. Anyways, whether or not this is Aqua different, this is Monme. Ikemen! Toki! Is this Akane? I wonder. Saya. What a hell of a character intro screen, man. Jesus. So this is just an advertising trailer, I think, right? Uh. Give me one last kiss. Tuki. Akana's dead. この物語はフィクションである。さあ、アカネ、17。2.5D what role did Kizami play or Melt? We, he was one of the Ikemen that was really super annoying. He's the main character that Aqua like tried to like upstage, right? Is that, is that the same guy? He was the main character of that, you know, exactly, right? Melt is Sweet Day. Sweet Day was a shitty drama and Aqua is showing up as the villain, made the ratings go up and now he's back for like a redemption. Monme. Okay, so the person in the beginning, Monmei, that person was not Aqua at all. Okay, so Monmei, this is this person. Sakuya Kamoshida. And Ruby. What if one of these people, bro? One of these people is the dad. There is a murderer among us. Oh, just <laughs> could you imagine? The guy in the forefront is like the guy with the white bandana is like the most like hardcore die hard idol enjoyer, right? 
配信動画を定期的にアップしたりして、right. 少しずつファンは増えていますないと言いつついろいろ仕事を増やしていて、yeah, talented, 正直、right? 何を考えてるのかよくわかる。Aqua has no, sorry, Ruby has no clue that Aqua is a reincarnated character like her. Is a doctor and is looking for the murder mystery of mom, and the only way to do it is to go to more shows and network with other people behind the scenes to find the leads, right? No! Business relationship! The starring gun! The manga kill starring gun! This shit went so hard, bro! <laughs> like, Oshinoko the one shit where it's just like, OH MY GOD! HER EYES! IT LOOKS LIKE OSHINO EYES! <laughs> People were absolutely just losing it over their starring gun, man. That cheeky kiss. <laughs> sure. I'm going to perform on the dome. Look at me, Mama. 発行部数5000万部を超える人気漫画「東京ブレイド」は日本各地友情や愛情を深めていく王道バトルストーリーだ。Would you guys watch this? I feel like Tokyo Blade is a type of anime where it's, it's like maybe like a Hell's Paradise kind of deal where I don't know, not many people in my audience might enjoy it. It, it, it might just do like the mid, you know? But the premise sounds interesting, right? Shattering of the blades, everyone collecting the blades all coming together to fight for one, I don't know. Okay, Shinjuku Fashion. Okay, so Aqua and Akane are on the same side. We're the Shibuya. And then Loli Senpai, Shinjuku. Got it? Akane to Oretachi ga shozok suru Shibuya Cluster ga teki toshite tachi adakaru. Konkai no geki. It's called the Shibuya Incident Arc. Shibuya Conflict Arc. <laughs> Hold the fuck up. Hold up! Just, just call the incident! Scenario ga tenkai suru. Yeah. Arima to no kyoen wa last to dake ko. Nikite tashi. いや逆あいつは演技の話になると熱がこもりぐちぐち言われるタイミングも少なそうで助かるそういうアカナ is just so live bro I don't know the entire time the, the whole animation of her sitting down here like this is crazy the, the, this is more than new, new gate finale budget just the sitting and then her just like slowly moving up and like looking at like it is insane the difference of animation quality and again I think that animation is on the lowest tier of priority for me when enjoying an anime. I care about a good enticing plot, voice acting, and good soundtrack. If you have all those three, I think that shitty animation can be passable. But like, of course, I want good animation as well. And this is like such a different type of anime. And like, here's the interesting thing too. Notice how I'm moving back and forth one second ahead. And you can see Akane move the entire time because they are adapting more fucking frames instead of being static. You go to Newgate, the characters don't change when I go back like this. They all just kind of exist in place. But this one is so detailed that every second I go by, there's a different frame. So you... But it's fun to be fun. I'm a fan. 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 Are you not passionate? He's not. Just a joke. <laughs> I'm different. <laughs> okay, Sasuke. <laughs> All these actors. I'm not here to make friends. I'm different. I'm an Avenger! Are you ready to spend an entire season? Just. Doing this theater play. Just so that by episode 12, we're gonna have a celebration. He's gonna take us to a bar and he's gonna be like, So, uh, here's a lead to another guy that may have some clues. And then that's that. And there'll be nothing. He has nothing to do with the fucking murder. He'll have some leads in a different guy. And we'll get that number. And then in season three, we're gonna do this shit all over again. This is looking like a Genshin Impact plot, bro. Every different continent we go to. Have you seen my lost sister? Uh, maybe if you help us with a bunch of this, we'll give you some clues. And then at the end, it's like, well, better luck next time. We'll put on some water posters. Go to the next continent. Maybe they have to leave. This is going to happen with every arc. There is no way we're making any type of progress fighting our fucking, you know, who the dad is. Oh, the star. Oh, you see that? It changed. She got the star there? Before she didn't have it, right? She didn't. 
She did she on on command on command. She got the star Iko. ずっと無法地帯だった新宿が一人の男によって統一されたようです。どんなやつか見てきて。Who is this macho man? I don't know why, but I feel like this guy would be perfect for the Degozaru type, right? Sesha, Degozaru. Representative of Magic Flow, Tokyo Blade executive producer Sumiyaki Raida. I remember him from last season. He was shown for just a bit, right? His drip was crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, everyone is so good here. But with Melt, I had a little bit of doubt. He was kind of trapped, but hey, he's actually doing pretty good now. Everyone is doing well, and the Melt just gets a fucking straight bullet. But it's like, ah, he's alright, he's alright. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Someone's getting up. He's moving! He's moving! Yeah. I, I think this character is going to be super important. The guy that's moving in the background scene here. Like, this guy, I think, is the guy that I joked about Lolly Senpai cheating on Aqua with this guy, right? During the trailer, there was like a crazy scene with him. I think this is him, right? Who is this guy? Sure. I'm, I'm having a stroke reading two separate conversations going on with the different subs right now. It's like, what am I supposed to fucking focus on? Whole, whole, holy shit. Okay. Is this Blade? <laughs> what, what is the, the whole hype? It's like, nah, doesn't matter. You know why? Because we have him. We have Himekawa. The amount of build up here. <laughs> Himekawa! Oh! He just gave her a facial! Was he that good? You tell me this guy's like he, he, this Mr. Stubble's glasses? Like he, he doesn't even look the part. He looks like the fucking stalker that killed her mom. But you tell me that one step was that good here? Like how could I know, right? I'm just watching the anime passively. But in the moment, I guess like he is that good. 19. Taiki Himekawa. Protagonist. <laughs> oh. Lolly Senpai popping off. <laughs> All right. No, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, no, 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 no. I was like, there is no emotion with this guy. There's a lot of emotion with this guy. Bro has laser eye beams. Like, this is Kuroko no Basket. They, 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 he's got the lines coming out of his line eyes, bro. This shem, he's in the zone. He's in the zone. Okay, I believe in the Himekawa hype. All right. <laughs> Damn. Sundere <laughs> lead. Okay, he's kind of insane. He make a blade. Okay, that, that 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 felt like an anime where it's just like you know standard main character who's like aloof and kind of strong and just like I don't know. He's right there, right? And then you have like the Kana Kana who's gonna be like the Sundere. Like I see it. I already see it. She panting. I actually support this. I think that Kana. Should no longer chase Aqua and go pursue her own happiness with Himeko if this is romantic. Absolutely. She deserves better. She deserves way better, bro. Is a love triangle forming between those three? There's no way. You think Melt is like going after Kana and Kana for Himeko? I, no, I, I don't know if there's anything romantic. I think it's just like, you know, we just. We're, just, we're a team. We have a lot of lines together. So the more time you spend together, the more in sync you'll be and you'll act better, you know? So like, but maybe Love Triangle, who knows? They're, they're just, you know, being friends and, you know, being colleagues. But like, is there more? Who knows? Doki. 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 
Notes. That's right. She studies hard, right? She takes a lot of notes. I wonder what the... Uh... I, I bet it's the idol work, right? I, I, I bet it's the idol work that we did, you know? Season, season one finale, you know, Kana, Memcho, Ruby, they have a whole squad, right? And they popped off and they're doing well. They're having success. So maybe she's getting a lot of confidence off of that and she feel herself, you know? It's different from before. She's got something else now and, you know, acting is like a side thing and she's also doing it. He wants to switch things up, all right? Everyone but him. I don't think Aqua really cares. Does he? I don't know. Is he thinking about who killed his mom? Or is he thinking about, oh man, I gotta be as good as Himika here. If they're truly actors anyways, exactly. Who knows? Day three of rehearsals. Kana in that scarf. Imagine how stinky those shoes are. Oh, that's like my ah. <laughs> You're blade today? Where did Himikawa go, bro? But okay, I guess a lot of people have personal shit. The lead cast members often can't make rehearsals due to other jobs, like different roles, different acting plays. It's not like Himikawa is working at McDonald's right now. No, no, no. He's got like different gigs and schedule overlapping and stuff like that, right? Oh, it must be as the manager, right? The girl behind must be Himeko's manager and she's apologizing, but he's like, it's fine because Himeko is built different. This guy reminds you of Memcho if he was a guy. Right there. I don't know. It's, it's like the cat face and the blonde hairish. It's just Memcho but guy. Oh, another minute. I only watch videos. Yeah, I only read manga. I can't remember the last time I read a book. I'm sorry, guys. Straight up. Maybe the last time I actually read an actual book was like in college, like a textbook. And that doesn't really count either, right? Like, I don't read books at all, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I have a video format. I'm reading the subtitles. That counts. The bit part group. Huh? Aqua. What a loner, bro. And the funniest thing is, right? The funnier thing is, he a grown-ass man. He a grown ass man was an entire doctor before this. Yeah, we talked about the mentality of him, you know, being around teenagers so much where he's habituated and is returned back to his former self. But like, you a whole ass grown ass man can't even get along with these kids, can't even fucking make friends, bro. Neat in his 50s. Look at that aura, man. She, she likes it. She starts blushing. Oh. Look at my loner boyfriend there, not even socially interacting, think he's so cool. Oh my god, I love him so much. Is he staring at them? What's Aqua doing? You are? <laughs> yeah, I am. Arima was no level in our city, and you go can you can not see your young kid, she got all she not to That's right, we corrected her. Basically, the more better people she's surrounded by, the better she'll like adapt to that level. Himikawa's presence is bringing Arima to another level right now. And unfortunately, we only had Mel to fucking work with last time, so it was GG. The protagonist. <laughs> oh, that might be thumbnail. Damn, what a pout. Pout number one from Akane. <laughs> Yeah, he, he doesn't care about this. It's different for him. Hmm. I wonder what the meaning of this is. They keep reiterating this since season one about how he has no real talent compared to those others. But like every time he's done something, people are like, who is his prodigy? 
Oh my god! Holy! Right? So there's like there's this distinction of real talent that he thinks that he doesn't have. Maybe it's true. Maybe what he has is like it's fraudulent. It's like synthetic artificial. I don't know, but they, they keep reiterating this. It's the Hoshino Eye comparison, exactly. Like mom has like real true talent. <laughs> Oh, it's the actor. Intense. Intense! I will defeat the Shinjuku again! That was a little bit too much. Let's dial it down. Let's dial it down. Okay, okay. Is that good? I can't tell. I can't tell if that was good or not. Uh, It was more confident. Right? It was, it, was, it was a little bit more tuny. Was, was, that, was that intense though? Intensity is like, Skuna's showing up and be like, hmm, I told you last time would be the one time only. <laughs> Just fucking cleaves people. But like, is this intense? It's more tuny. I don't know. It was okay. But like, I don't think that's what the director was looking for. And by the reaction of her face, it's not really what she was looking for either. Okay, so the kanji they go. Eh, passable? <laughs> Yo, Akane's getting left behind. She's getting power crept in episode 1. What happened? Himikawa happened. Blame Himikawa. Like, Akane already in episode 1 is like, White Room is about to fucking happen right now. Like, she's about to disappear. <laughs> she power crept already? Uh-oh. The momentum's a bit off. The vibes are off. It's an anime only character? Oh, this is rigged! Did the story already has her as a minor character? She's already at a disadvantage. It's rigged! But like, I think, like, like honestly though, like think about what Aqua did. Think about what Aqua did in season one in that my love story or something right the villain was not supposed to be that good no one had expectations aqua simply stepped up to the role and delivered a performance no one was expecting and it was even better so i feel like if you're a real actor if you can call yourself a performer it doesn't matter what your role is you will simply figure out a way to compel the audience even if you're at a disadvantage to the point where people are gonna say holy shit you know what? I think I like Princess Saya moments more in the play than, you know, the common pairing. If she's an actual actor, she should be able to do that. It was already an L from the beginning. Then simply be expressive and full of life. You can do it. You can act, you can be it. Come up with your own analysis then. Damn. The imagery of like picking up the pieces, right? She figured out Hoshino Ai. It wasn't perfect, but she did the study, she did the research, and she got it pretty well done, right? It was like a 9 out of 10 like copy. This one, she just gotta do a little bit of fitting in the pieces with her mind. If her imagination can come up with this, then the performance will be even better. In a sports anime, in a battle anime, what happens? The people with the early lead often gets overtaken. This may look good for Lolly Senpai right now, but I think that Lolly Senpai Enjoyer should be afraid. Because if they're gonna start episode 1 with placing Akane behind, I think that this early lead means nothing. I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but like she's gonna catch up. Like the payoff later is gonna be greater. And then Lolly Senpai, I don't know. You're right. This is Blue Lock right now. Akane simply has to devour Akana. Akane has to the piece. This is Blue Lock! The, 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 the puzzle animation! They copy this shit! <laughs> I will devour Princess Sayu and you know fucking figure shit out. The puzzle pieces, bro. Just fucking and beats on his head. Don't be like that then. Alright. Okay. 
原作でも不遇なのに舞台でもこんな扱いだな Whose fault is this? Again, I, I, don't, I don't work in this industry. I don't know, but I feel like these kind of excuses are something like third rate actors will make. It's like, are you really limited by the script? Yeah, for sure. There is limitations here. So does that mean Akane should like offer like, do you, can I change the script so it's going to go this way? I personally think that this is not the best way to, you know, portray this character. Or do you simply just use the script and just make it so transformative that it's even better than what it is? I, I don't know. <laughs> No, that's loser mentality. Come on. That's right. In the season one, the, the author of that show was so upset that her uh, source material got turned into this trashy ass East, just Ikimen Harum, right? So, like, she can't just go off the script and just do that shit out of respect for that. So, I don't know. We're kind of just put in a hard place. Day five. Scriptwriter. <laughs> So, like, one of the most important things to notice is the color of the parents' hair because Hoshino Ai, I don't think, is blonde. She's not. So, whenever we find a new character, I'm looking at the hair color. Is it blonde, right? But that would be too easy. You know? It would be too easy to just be like, alright, the dad's gonna be blonde. So, you know how they would hide. The blonde hair? We're at 18 away right now. We're 18 away right now. Do you know how they can hide the blonde hair? Right over here. Wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. By making him bald. By making... Well, yeah, this is a blonde guy right here. There's this blonde guy right here. But like, what if the number one idol fan is bald because he's blonde and he's hiding? Well, there's some hair if he can hide. I'm reaching, guys. I'm really reaching. I am really reaching right now. But it's, it's like, if we're fixated on the hair, what if he's bald now? What if he shaved his hair? Who knows, right? I don't think it's this guy with the fucking Hamtaro teeth right over here. I, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. But like... You know, we gotta, we gotta start thinking outside the box, man. If you really want to think about how to, you know, solve this problem, we, we need to think outside the box. Okay. Can we go talk to him to change the script? Shit's trash. Yeah, everything but Princess Sayo. Man, imagine if Oshinoko was a bad adaptation, they couldn't make this joke, right? That's why they're being so faithful. Because, like, if you're gonna make jokes like this, like, you better make sure that the anime you're adapting is also doing well, man. It's like Zom 100. It's like Zom 100 talking about the fucked up Japanese work culture in anime studios and how it's finally freedom, but then what happened to Zom 100? The classic. Overwork, delayed scheduling, it just ended, so it's like, how ironic, huh? How ironic. People are aggressive. What if you're right about this, though? Alright. <laughs> The script's trash. The script is trash. You are doing a disrespectful service to Princess Sayo in the manga. This is how we should change it. But if we say that, he's gonna take offense to it, right? Go like script writers are different from manga authors. Manga authors source material, script writer then takes the manga and then makes it into this 2.5D play. But if you start insulting, you know, it's like it's not gonna work. So like you need to go in a respectful way. Mid! Skill issue. いい、だいぶ好戦的な感じだしね。いや。そうなんです。原作だともっと葛藤が。その葛藤を演劇というメディアに移行したとき、できない。We're he was just min-maxing. It's like, listen, we only have like three to four seconds. You need to do this line in four seconds. I really don't care what the performance is. It doesn't matter. Just get it in four seconds. In <laughs> That's fucked up. 
But like, you know, this is the business, right? Whether you like it or not, this is the business. This is the nature of it. Not everything is perfect. So, you know, stuff like this needs to be... Ha I don't know. It doesn't, there might be a different way to do it, but this is how it works here. <laughs> ただでさえ登場人物が多く、様々な思惑が錯綜する群像ブルに整理する必要がある。You know what? I can respect that, right? He's like talking about the importance of screenwriters and right now, right? You're going to try to adapt this whole thing in two two hours, right? You got to focus on the important stuff. And who does the manga really love? They love, you know, Skuro or whatever the Loli Senpai is acting, right? The main characters are Blade and Skuro. But like, Princess Saiyu doesn't really matter. Therefore, they're going to reduce her screen time. But it's like, okay, how does Akane then, you know, compete with that? She's already been given a shitty card. Make use of the little time you have and be so good that it pops off even harder? I don't know. Can't even blame the scriptwriter, man. He's so reasonable, man. いっそ活発なキャラにしたことで見せることができている。作家としてこの判断は間違っていない。だから採用は心情の深さを見せる。you simply exist because the character that you're supposed to play, you know, kind of is not popular in the manga. We need to reduce the screen time. Like, there's nothing you can do. You just fucked. You just had a shitty role. GG next time. But, like, it can't end like this. What could Akane do? Well, the scriptwriter could accommodate her needs and change the lines here and there. Or Akane could just simply be so present on stage after doing homework of what, you know, I don't know, maybe she'll go rogue and decide to say, fuck it, I'm going, I'm, I'm YOLOing it, fuck the script, I'm, I'm just gonna, like, uh, improv. I don't know. I don't know. But, she took some notes. Abiko-sensei! <laughs> Alright, she got specialized, huh? She got like the cat eye. She seems very shy, very introverted. Abiko Samijima, 22. Uh, Yoriko Kichijoji is like the manager, creator of I'll Go With Sweet today. Okay, maybe different authors, yeah? Abiko Sensei. Hello. Oh, she's from the, the Sweet Play, right? Last season, right? That was her. She, she was the author of the play in season one. <laughs> yeah, 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 two today. You think, you think Sensei is going to be proud of Melt after the kind of disaster the Ikim and Harem was? I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's happy, happy. Happy, 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 happy. Melt. <laughs> Redemption arc for Melt. せ、初めまして。イケメンと美女を目を合わせただけでテンポ。まあ、わかるけど。ありがとうございます。演技上手。いい舞台にできると思う。そりゃ、ララライは。みんなきっとたくさん練習してくれてるんですよね。ああ
or core two right now i'm not sure but basically the premise is we're in this new arc of a 2.5d play adapting tokyo blade and uh the story is not important what's important is the two characters right akane and lolly senpai will play lolly senpai great himekawa goaded they got easy lines great everyone loves him akane sucks cuz the character sucks Right, the whole love interest thing, they're skipping over it, they're making her be totally different. And Akane's like, I don't have much to work with, what can I do? And she, you know, still takes notes and tries to be her best. And then comes the mangaka and says, let's just redo everything. Zenbu, baby, everything. And now, who knows what's gonna happen? Only one way to find out. It's to find out next episode. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.